but we are talking Dodd-Frank. It is the three-year anniversary, and among the things in Dodd-Frank that have been implemented, the statute of limitations for government lawsuits extended to six years from five. That is going to put Steve Cohen potentially in the crosshairs, but there are still many things that haven't been done in those three years since Washington vowed to fix Wall Street with the act, which is now law. In the three years, regulators have written nearly 14,000 pages. They've finalized 155 rules, 243 still set to be written or finalized, only 39 percent done so far. Here's what that 39 percent has looked like, roughly 4,000 pages a year, steady progress from ground zero. In year one, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau was formed to coordinate uh, against uh, predatory lending practices, as well as new rules to keep uh, governing some banks there. In year two, banks submitted their first living wills to liquidate them instead of bailouts in the next crisis. In the next year, uh, year three, strict capital rules hope to keep banks more liquid. So there are a few tenets that happened each of those years. We know Treasury Secretary Jack Lew said last week at Delivering Alpha that the core of Dodd-Frank will be done by year end. That's hundreds more rules and a few big priorities that will be a tangled web to finish, and here's why. Take a look at these three rules. They are going to require no fewer than eight regulators to finish a lot of these. Skin in the game is a proposal that will require banks packaging and securitizing risky securities to hold at least 5% of that risk. Seven regulators will need to uh, agree on that. They will also need to agree on the trillion dollar swaps and derivatives market and the way that that operates. And finally, the Volcker rule, which is the big kahuna. It needs five agencies on board to figure out how to limit the bank's risky tradings. The banks have been the ones clamoring onto the committee's calendars to make their interests heard. That's another uphill battle here. The Sunlight Foundation calculates more than a thousand meetings between the big five banks and the top regulators. Goldman Sachs tops the list. 222 meetings between Goldman execs and Washington uh, regulators on how Dodd-Frank shapes out. Guys, an uphill battle. Five months left. There's a lot still to do.